couple at breakfast. Are you guys staying at the same hotel we do always? A lovely little B&B, &B actually. Oh, cool. Wish you were here. No, I know. I, I really wish I was with you guys, too, in Hawaii. I just, I had so much stuff going on here. Have you spoken to Derek? No, Mom, I haven't seen Derek. And I probably won't. I, we broke up. I broke up with him. I know, but... No, we're probably, probably not going to get back together. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't work out, Mom. I just worry about you, honey. You haven't seemed like yourself lately, ever since you two broke up. You don't have to worry. Everything's fine. Medical starts in six weeks. Dad's worried about you, too. Uh, uh, no, tell Dad he doesn't need to be concerned. I'm fine. He doesn't want you getting distracted for your classes. Okay, Mom, uh, the doorbell's ringing. I have to go. All right. Have so much fun in Hawaii. I'll talk to you later then. I miss you guys. Have a great time. I'll, I'll talk to you in a week, okay? Love you, honey. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. Hi, can I help you? Hi, yeah, uh, I'm very sorry to bother you. I got into a car accident outside and this was the first house that I saw. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Are you hurt? Yeah, no, no, nothing too serious, but I probably had to call the police. Yeah, do you want to use a phone or something? If you don't mind, I left my phone in the car. Do you have, like, a, a landline or a cell phone or something? We don't have a landline, but you can use my cell phone. It's inside. Do you want to use that? Yeah, that would be great. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, not a problem. Do you want to follow me inside and I can grab it in the living room? All right, yeah, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I really am. Oh, no, it's no inconvenience at all. All right, all right. Here you go. You can call whoever you like. Oh, yeah, thanks. You know what? On second thought, I think I'm gonna be fine. What? Don't make a sound. Oh, DJ. Hey, I told you don't make a sound. I'm not gonna tell you again, all right? Relax. I'm not here to rob you or hurt you or nothing stupid like that, all right? There's two guys outside looking for me, so I have to hide in your house. Don't go nowhere. Stay there. Oh, my God. You're doing great. You're doing great. So 
So the next bus out of town leaves Monday morning. I'm gonna hang out at your house for the weekend. The Monday morning, I'll be on my way. Nod your head. All right? So, anyone else in the house right now? No, it's just me. You live in this house all by yourself? No, it's my parents. They're both doctors. They're gone for a week in Hawaii. You like expecting people to come visit you this weekend? No, no, I'm not. Perfect. See how easy that was? So far, so good, right? Yeah, I'm always really accommodating to someone putting a gun at me. Oh, this? Hey, don't worry. You keep cooperating, you're not gonna get hurt. So you're just planning to stay in my parents' house all weekend until your bus comes on Monday? Yeah. You're the smart type, aren't you? May I ask what you're planning to do with me? Nothing. You stay out of my way, I have no problem. Relax. I'll definitely stay out of your way. Good. You got any duct tape in this house? Yeah. In the kitchen, why? Can't have you running off on me. Are you serious? You can't do that. Do I look like I'm not serious? I thought you didn't want to hurt me. Hey, come on. I don't got time for this, all right? Let's go get the duct tape. Come on. Come on, go. Move it. Come on. Breathe. Breathe. Where's the duct tape? In the drawer on the left. Get it for me. Come on. Yes, master. Here it is. Give it to me. Right away, master. back in the bag. Come on. Where did you get all this money from? Dead relative? It's my business where I got the money from, not yours. All right, stand up, slowly. It wasn't very nice what you did back there. I'm sorry, was I supposed to not hurt your feelings? All right, I understand you might be nervous or whatever. Someone let that one go. Am I supposed to thank you for not killing me? No, you gotta understand something. You pull anything like that again, I mean anything, you're dead. You got me? Dead. Loud and clear. I thought you weren't expecting nobody. I'm not. If I don't answer it, people are going to start to get worried. They know I didn't go on vacation with my parents. All right, fine, answer the door. But if you try to signal the person, I'm gonna kill you both. I got it, don't worry. I hope so. Your life depends on it. Anyone ever tell you have a great personality? Yeah, once or twice. Go. I bet they have. Yeah, come on, move. Officer Ramirez. Hey, Mike, how's your day going? It's, I'm fine, how are you? I'm good, I just wanted to come by to make sure that everything was okay. Yeah, so what's going on? Just want to let you know there's been some suspicious men that have been seen in this area. Oh my god. One has been seen walking around this area, the other two have been seen in the south side of town. Really? That's crazy. I know your parents are on vacation, I just wanted to come by and make sure you're okay. Oh, thank you for that. You haven't seen anyone suspicious around here, have you? No, nobody. It's been pretty quiet over here. Whatever you do, don't open up your door to any strangers. Don't worry, I won't. I don't want to alarm you, but also these gentlemen are connected to a mafia murder. Oh my gosh, they sound like some really dangerous men. I hope that your officers can catch them soon. I hope so too. I'll stop by in a day or two, make sure you're okay, okay? That's so kind of you. Thank you for checking out me, officer. Anytime. Remember, if you see these guys walking around, give us a call. I will, don't worry. Hey, 
Hey, not bad. You did pretty good. Thanks, my pleasure. I love being an alibi for whatever crime you committed. Oh, you're real funny, you know that? You ought to be a comedian. I'm full of laughs, just you wait. We're stuck together all weekend long, and I'm really good at entertaining home intruders. I mean, an invited house guest. More comedy. Good. Keep talking. Who's Derek? Why? Keeps calling you. Now he wants to call me. Why well, am I missing something here? Derek's my asshole of an ex-boyfriend. And now what, he wants to get back with you? I don't know, I don't know his deal, and I really don't care. So I'm guessing it kind of ended badly or something? You could say that. Why? He wasn't in love with your amazing personality? I wasn't in love with the fact that he would get drunk and smack me around afterwards. Oh, you used to hate you. I'm sorry. It's fine. He's out of my life, and he's not coming back. Does he know that? Because it don't seem that way. Just ignore him. That's what I do. All right, whatever. So now what? Duct tape. Are you serious? I just lied to that cop for you. That's the way it's got to be. You're such a prick. Oh, you kissed your mother with that mouth. Who I kiss is my own business, not yours. Oh, oh, I see what you're doing. You're, you're mocking what I was saying to you earlier. Yeah, oh, he's intelligent, too. Smarter than you think. That's yet to be determined. Come on, go. Move. really necessary. You have to do this. Yeah, come on. You know I got to. I promise I won't run off again. Sorry, can't do that. It's kind of creepy you tying me up while I sleep. I'm a lot of things, but I ain't that kind of guy. If you say so. Hey, I ain't that kind of guy. All right? All right. All right, there you go, Marissa. All set. You know my name? I heard the cop call you that earlier. So do I get to know your name, then? Less you know about me, the better. So what am I supposed to call you, then? Better if you don't call me nothing at all. I'll cut you loose in the morning when you wake up. I can hardly wait. Like it? No, I'm fine. Whatever. You have to do me any favors? I wasn't planning to. Good night, Marissa. Good night, whatever the hell your name is. like my drunk ex-boyfriend, Derek. Marissa. You do this a lot, come in here late at night. No, but he knows my parents are gone. He's taking full advantage of the situation. Marissa. I'm gonna go talk to this no, guy. No, 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 he's drunk. You're trying to stay under the radar, right? It's gonna cause a scene. All right, so what do you wanna do? Cut me loose and I'll go talk to him. I don't know about all that. I'm not going to run away again. All right, fine, but don't pull nothing funny on me. Are you kidding me? I just want to get this asshole to leave so I can go back to sleep. All right, come here. All right, go handle it. All right, okay, well. Marissa! Huh, just, huh. 
Come on, baby. Come on. Oh. Hey, you baby. What's up? First of all, don't ever call me that. Second of all, what the hell are you doing here, Derek? You know I have neighbors. Yeah, uh, they, they, um, I knew I knew you were gonna be alone this weekend. I just wanted to check up on you. I don't need you checking mm. up on me. Ah, come on, girl. Let's just live the sunny inside. Yeah, I'm not going down that path again with you. I miss I miss having you around. You miss having me around, or you miss having something to hit? Because I don't miss that at all. Hey. Hey, hey, I told you I was sorry about all that. And besides, <laughs> your, your feisty ass is gonna be first after time, right? Right? Okay, look, I promise, promise, never happen again. I've heard that straight too many times. You know what? I'm calling the cops. You can get the hell off my property. Oh, no, don't do that. Come on, don't be like that. Come on, just let me in. Just let me in. No, I'm not letting you in. I'm not dealing with the stupidity. I'm gonna call the cops. You can leave. Don't be like that, man. You're not coming in, Derek. You can leave. Hey! Hey! Go not go. going anywhere! Let go of me, Derek! Let not go. now! Now you messed up, you little bitch! Yeah, you're right. I did miss beating your ass! Derek, let go. How about I punch you? I told you you always punch me first. How about I punch you, huh? How about I punch you? Hey! The lady said let it go. Who the hell are you? Who the hell is he, huh? Oh, you don't want to know who I am. Yeah? Yeah? With this guy now, huh? So you like hitting women? Hey. Huh? Hey. You like slapping hey. them around? Hey. Hey. Hey! And none of your business what I do, all right? Now I'm right. in my business. Yeah? Yeah, I'll kick your ass, man. Come on. I'll kick your ass. Yeah? Yeah? Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Talk to my girl in the middle of the night. Shit, this guy. This girl's a bitch. Talk to my girl in the middle of the night. Yeah? 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 All right, man. Yeah, you want to go, man? Come on. Come on. Come on. You get out of here. You understand? You don't never come back. You never look at that girl again. You never talk to that girl again. You understand? Hey! Uh, yes. All right, get uh, out of here. Uh, come on. Right. Come on, go! Huh? Where'd that stupid bitch anyway take your feisty ass, man? All right. You got my key. I need my key. You got my key? I got my key. <laughs> You all right? Hey, come on, get up. I'll help you out. Come on, slowly. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Go on. There we go. Come on, I got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Don't worry about nothing. Get some sleep. How'd you sleep? Good, I guess. Oh, good, good. You didn't take me back up last night. No, I figured you already had a bad enough night as it was. Why make it worse? And the blanket? You look cold. <laughs> Thanks again for last night. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. But that guy had it coming to him. I don't think Derek will be coming around anymore. It's kind of what I was going for. Do I smell food? Yeah, I hope you don't mind. I made a little breakfast, some coffee. No, that sounds great, actually. Oh, good, good. Yeah, it's right there. Help yourself. Thanks. Hey, where's this go? Oh, no, you don't have to do that. No, 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 it's all right. You, you tell me where it goes, and I'm going to throw it out. It's OK. Outside on the curb. OK, yeah, I'll, I'll go do that, and uh, you get started without me. Thanks, I intend to. All right. This is pretty good breakfast. Yeah, thanks. We should open up a restaurant or something. You're a really talented cook. Yeah, right, right. What's up with you? Nothing. Doesn't look like nothing. Don't worry, it's nothing. It's fine. OK, if you say so. No, who is it? Are you expecting someone in particular? Let's go find out. Good morning, miss. How are you today? I'm fine. Can I help you? The Dixie Varto flamed. I need to speak to the owner of this home. Oh, those are my parents, Dr. and Dr. Evans. Hmm. But your parents are doctor. That must be nice. Comes in handy when I'm sick. Yeah, but he does. Well, Mrs. Ivart, either one of your parents are home at the moment. No, they're both on vacation. I'm actually house sitting until they get back. Hmm. Hmm. I guess they're going to tell you then. Do you mind or might not hurt any suspicion looking man in this neighborhood? Yeah, Officer Ramirez came by yesterday, but I haven't seen anything suspicious. Ah, I understand. I understand. I have a picture for the man who ran after. Do you mind see this man in the neighborhood? No, I haven't seen that man. His man. His name is Sammy Martina. I should warn you, this man, it's hardly criminal work for the Mafia. Oh, wow. I consider Armin extremely dangerous. Oh, wow. I wouldn't like anything to happen to you, especially you all alone here. Oh, thank you, Detective. I really appreciate that. Tell you what, I'm going to write my cellular phone for you, right here, my card. Hold on to it, just in case you see this man around here. Will do. I'll give you a call if I hear anything. Anything to do can help. Please, please, don't hesitate to. I'm just trying to protect innocent people like you from criminal like him. Thank you, Detective. I really appreciate that. Thank you for your cooperation. You might be small reward for anybody have some information of this Sammy Martin. OK, I'll remember that. Yeah, a young lady like you wouldn't be opposed to make some extra money, right? No, I love extra money. <laughs> I have a feeling you would. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Ivan, for your cooperation, and have a great day. Thank you, Director. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.
think I'll find him, Frank. Oh, yeah, we're at? Some Brout house. For a second, I thought I saw him. How are we going to know if he's in there or not? You're going to find out tonight. Sammy Martino. Nice name, by the way. Had a nice chat with uh, Detective Flynn about you. Yeah. You think that guy's a detective? You're totally off. He has a badge. It's a fake. He ain't no detective. So, who is he? His name's Bruno. He's my old boss. Old boss of what, exactly? Better if you don't know. So let me get this straight. I can tell you all about Derek beating me, and you can't tell me a thing about your boss, Bruno. Do I really gotta spell it out for you right now? Your mother's calling. Hi, Mom. Hey, honey. How are you? Dad and I are having fun here. Oh, good. How's the trip? So much fun. We love it. Oh, OK. You good over there? No, everything's fine over here. You sure, honey? I'm, I'm fine, I promise. We worry about you. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. You guys have a great time. Okay, honey. Call us if you need anything. Okay. Love you. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye. So how'd you learn how to cook? My mother. I learned it all from her. Nice. What about your father? Did he cook too? No, no. He left the cooking to my mother. My old man was a boxer. Really? Yeah. So I like I learned cooking from my mother and I learned boxing from my father. Were you any good? Yeah, I was all right. I was like undefeated, 12 and all. I was pretty good. But I didn't really pursue it when I got older. Why? What happened? Life happened. Gotcha. What about you? What do you do? I just graduated from college. I go to medical school next month. Following in your parents' footsteps, huh? I guess you can say that. Don't seem too excited about it. It is what it is. Sometimes you have to do something that makes sense rather than what you want to do. Well, what do you want to do? It was up to me. I moved to Paris and be an artist. Painting used to be my entire life. So why don't you do it? Try telling that to my parents. I don't think they'd be too supportive, you know, helping a struggling artist. Yeah, I know, but I mean, it's your life, right? Yeah. So you gotta do what makes you happy, not what makes other people happy. Did you get that quote off the back of a Hallmark card? Nah, that's all me talking. Did you hear something? It was probably nothing, but I'll go take a look. I'll be right back. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay. How are you feeling? A little sore. This you? Yeah. I guess it's perks to have parents who are doctors. Could have ran off. Why didn't you? You could have bled out. Didn't want you to die. Thanks. Don't worry about it. <sighs> Do I want to know what happened to the other guy? <sighs> Probably better if you don't. So how did you end up in this town? Looking for a way out. What do you mean, a way out of what? There was this guy out here named Han. He owed Bruno $2 million. We tracked him to this town. We need to pay him a visit. It was me and Bruno and another guy named Frank. Please don't kill me. We have a deal. You got your money. You don't have to do this. I have a family. I figured with the two million, I could get a new start somewhere. Good job, Sam. Now bring the money over here to me. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, guys. I'm taking off. What the hell are you talking about? Don't follow me. I'll kill you both. You're dead man, Sammy. You know that? I'll find you. I'll find you. What happened after you took off? My car got a flat tire. Next bus out of town was Monday. I knew Frank and Bruno would be out here looking for me. Saw your house. I came here. Wow, Sammy, I, I don't even know what to say after that. Ain't nothing to say. You asked me, so I told you. I guess we've both been through it, haven't we? Everybody's been through something. Yeah, they have. Definitely. I made a pot of coffee. Do you want some? Yeah, all right. Thanks. Yeah, I'll be right back. Then you mix it all together. And that's it. That's it? That's it. It's not that hard at all. No, it's easy. I'm gonna have to remember that for next time. Yeah, and don't worry. I'll send you the bill for my services. You're actually going to charge me? It's not for free? No, I gotta make a living, right? <sighs> Times are tough, I get it. You know what? You don't gotta pay me. Why the sudden change of heart? Because I figure anyone who probably cooks as bad as you do needs all the help you can get. Oh my god, you're such a jerk for wording it like that. I do what I can. And for a second, I actually thought you were going to be doing something nice for a change. Nice? Me? No, 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 no. The word nice and the word Sammy Martino, they like don't go together in the same sentence. I don't know. I think you have a little bit of the soft side. Sorry to disappoint you. You got the wrong guy. I'll be the judge of that. I guess I'm more popular than I thought I was. Guess so. After you. You should get used to this by now, shouldn't I? Yeah. Hi, Officer Ramirez. Hi, Maritza. How's your day going? Can't complain. I'm getting ready to eat lunch with a friend. Friend? Is it Derek? No, it's not Derek. We actually broke up recently. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You guys made such a nice couple. You know, some people just aren't meant to be together. True, unfortunately. Don't want to disturb your lunch. Just want to let you know that there was a body found about a block away a couple of minutes ago. Oh my god, that's that's crazy. I know. You haven't seen anyone suspicious around here, have you? No, nobody. It's been pretty quiet around here, actually. I've been staying home all weekend watching movies. Good. I don't want to take up any more of your time. But whatever you do, please be very, very careful. You got it. Don't worry. Okay, good. I'll be back around to check on you, make sure everything's okay, okay? 
Thank you so much. I'll be sure to tell my parents when they get back from vacation that you've been really, really helpful. No need to do that. All in today's work. Take care, okay? Okay, I will. You Bye. do too. Be careful out Thank there. Thank you. Bye-bye. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of hungry. Wow, Sammy, everything looks great. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. I thought you took off earlier. Why? You weren't normally where you were hiding. Oh, no. I knew you weren't going to say nothing to the cop. Why do you say that? Because if he arrested me, who's going to cook? <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. You figured me out. I'm using you just for your cooking. What do you say we sit down and eat? I think I can do that. I don't know what you cook better, this or breakfast. I cook it all good. It don't matter. Your mom has been an incredible cook. My mother? Oh, yeah, you kidding me? The best. Do you get to see her a lot? Not as often as I'd like to. You know, ever since I started working for Bruno, I don't really got time for nothing else. Do you mind me asking how you even started working for him? So, I'm 17, right? I'm about to go pro. There already was, like, a lot of hype for me in the fight world. You know, I was good. One day, we find out my old man's got cancer. So I, I quit fighting to help my mother take care of him. Well, six months later, he dies. After that, I didn't want to fight no more. Not if he wasn't going to be around to train me. I couldn't do it. I'm so sorry. I couldn't imagine losing a parent that young. Yeah, it ain't too good of a feeling. Anyways, Bruno found out that I quit boxing, right? And he comes to talk to me. He says, hey, kid, I think you're a good fighter. I got some work for you. That was it. And that's it? You just started working for him after that? I was 17. I was pissed off at the world. I was angry. You know, I ain't. I didn't have no old man. I didn't have no, no guidance, no nothing. You know, I, I was like lost in life, you know? So I figured, I didn't care. I, I had nothing to lose. Do you regret any of those decisions? I don't know. I mean, yeah, maybe, maybe if I would have stuck with boxing, I, I could have, you know, been famous or made some money or something, but you can't look backwards in life, right? You're right. You can't. And, it ain't healthy living with regrets, you know? It, it don't get you nowhere. Regrets can be consuming. I know all of that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I have lots of regrets. I regret that I chose to be a doctor and not finishing my art, or that I didn't travel before I went to college, or that I was in an abusive relationship. I don't know, sometimes I just think I'm a hot mess. You know, I look at regrets as like life lessons, you know? You learn from them and you put it towards the next thing you do. Easy enough, right? Yeah, why not? I mean, you're still young. You're not dead yet, you know? You can do whatever you want with your life. Don't let no one ever tell you different. Hey, how did we end up having all these deep conversations? I don't know. Maybe my, my cooking is inspiring us. Yeah, must be the cooking. This is real good. Yeah, you think so? Oh yeah, definitely. Look at it, you, you're talented. You're too kind. You ought to do this for a living. You got a gift. 
Derek would say the exact opposite. He'd say, why are you wasting your time being an artist when you can just be a doctor? I can I ask you something? Yeah, go ahead. Why'd you stay with that guy? I don't know. He came from a good family. Our parents were old friends. They just sort of expected us to be together. You ever tell him what he did to you? No. I didn't tell anyone. I didn't want anyone to know what was going on. I guess I was embarrassed. You didn't deserve none of that abuse. I was in a dark place for a really long time. I lost all self-respect for myself, and then one day I just woke up and realized I didn't want to waste any more time dealing with his bullshit. And that was that, and he's out of my life now. Yeah, I mean, at least you never got to see that guy again, right? Yeah, thanks to you. <sighs> no, that was all you. I only helped a little bit. Can I ask you something now? Yeah. Why'd you stop working for Bruno? It's kind of a long answer. I don't have plans tonight. You know, like, every night when I go to sleep, right, I, I get the same nightmares. Like, I see the faces of all the people I killed over the years. And it seems so real to, like, right there in front of me. And they're smiling at me. They're saying, Sammy, we're going to see you soon. You know, I, w I wake up in the middle of the night. I can't even breathe no more. You know, I, I don't sleep. I don't sleep good no more. It gets so bad sometimes. I uh, think about getting my gun and, and ending it all. Oh my god, that sounds horrible. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it ain't a lot of fun, you know? I'm over it. I, I don't want the life no more. I, I, I can't do it, you know? I don't want to be an old man getting the same nightmares. So you're leaving tomorrow? Yeah. You gonna miss me? Yeah. Are you going to miss me? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to miss you more than you even know. So am I still your hostage? No. Good. Am I still your uninvited house guest? No. Good. So now what do we do? I don't know. I was thinking sleep might be a good idea. I'm not talking about that. What are you talking about? You're leaving tomorrow and what, I never see you again? That's the way it's got to go. That sucks. Yeah, I know. You're gonna forget about me when you leave? Forget about you? Impossible. Why do you say that? Because you never forget about the people you really connect with, you know? Don't matter if it's like a minute, a day, an hour. When you really connect with someone, you always remember them. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Of course it does. I said it. Well, I'm definitely not gonna forget about you. You're very memorable. You mean that like in a good way or like in a bad way? Like in a good way, learn how to take a compliment. Thanks, honey. 
I'm sad that you're leaving tomorrow. Come on, let's get to sleep. Yes, dear. Uh, we need some tampons. And some more wine. Of course, honey. Thank you, Cliffy. Friggin' bitch. Can't complain. I'm Cliff Thomas. I live next door. Are you looking for the Evans? Yeah. I'm all the friend of theirs just visiting. Visiting? They're on vacation. Yeah, I know. They want me to stop by to check her out in their place while they are gone. Really? Never seen you around here before. Like I say, I'm a friend of theirs. Right. So what are you doing snooping around back here, yeah. huh? Trying to get some fresh air, you know? All right. Yeah. Um, well, I didn't catch your name. Arthur. Arthur Flint. Arthur, don't yeah. take this personal, but would you happen to have any ID on you? Absolutely. It's in my car. Would you mind showing it to me? I mean, it's just that there's been a lot of reports of mysterious looking people around here, and just want to make sure you are who you say you are. Absolutely. No problem. You can never be too be careful, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially with all the recent activity around here. Would you like to follow me? Yeah, sure. Sure. Uh, no problem. My car is in the front. Okay, yeah, yeah, hey, thanks for being so understanding about all. Absolutely no problem. Good morning. Hey. How'd you sleep? better than I have in a long time. Well, that's good. Yeah, I ain't complaining. So, today's Monday. Yeah, I guess it is. And you have a bus to catch. That's the plan. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, I'll be right back. All right, yeah, go ahead. Some coffee? Yeah, if you want. Okay, I'll make some. Hey, hey, hold on. What? I gotta ask you something. What do you have to ask me? Why don't you come with me? Come with you? Come with you where? On the bus. To wherever I'm going. Like, to leave town with you? Yeah. I can't just drop everything. Why not? Because I live here. I, I have a family here. Both know you're not too happy. Who's happy in their life? That's just a part of life. Yeah, but most people don't got like an opportunity to do something about it. We do. What would we do? Whatever we want to do. We got $2 million. That's... We can go to Paris. We can, you can be an artist like you always wanted to be. That's your money. That's not mine. I can't do that. It don't matter. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. We've only known each other for a few days. Yeah, I know, but come on. OK, you and me, right? We got a good thing going on, right? Yeah, we do. And that's hard to find, right? What are you getting at? All right, so like when two people like us got a good thing going, we owe it to one another to see where it could take us. I mean, I'm willing to see if you are. Sammy, I don't know. Yeah, OK. No. Would you still cook for me all the time? You even got to ask? 
Okay. Okay, I'll go with you. Yeah? Yeah. I just want to take a shower and let me pack a bag. Yeah, go ahead. I'll be right here. Okay. All right. What are you gonna tell your parents? I'm just going to call them when they get back from their vacation. All right. So we're ready to do this? Yeah, let's catch that bus. All right. Hey, 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 the two lovebirds. Mm. Sammy. Bruce, well, don't worry. I told you I'll find you, Sammy. Huh? Don't move. I'll kill you both. Take what is it for you? Let's walk to the living room, huh? I treat you like a family. And this is how you pay me back? Hmm. Bruno, we're not family. We never work. Hmm. Come back, come back, come back. Like this. Come on, Bruno. Do what you gotta do to me, but let the girl go, all right? <laughs> you defended the brat, huh? Unfortunately, you know how this is gonna end. No witnesses. Bruno, come on, let the girl go. It's not gonna happen. And I'm sure you're the one who killed Frank. Now, both of you are gonna pay for that. You would really kill a woman? Yeah. 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 I'm gonna kill her. Then, the best part of it, you're gonna watch it till the end. Then I'm gonna kill you. Best. Yeah, well, say bye to your girlfriend. Who the hell is that? I have no idea. Huh? I think it's too late for that. No, don't say that. Hey, the money. Take the money with you. I don't care about the money. 
No, no, take it. Go to Paris. Be an artist like you always wanted to be. I don't want to go without you. Marissa, forget about everyone else, all right? Do what makes you happy. Don't live your life with no regrets. You're going to be the only regret I have. At least we got to see what it would have been like. It wasn't long enough. We'll take what we got, right? It would have been nice. Yeah. It was bad timing, that's all. Yeah. Bad timing, I guess. It's all right. It's all right.